Well, Will, we just laid out your day. Three for three on field goal tries. You make all your extra points. So I'm doing the math here. That's 13 points. Oh, and a fake field goal that absolutely took over social media. <laughs> oh, Let's start there. What, what was the idea that you had going in and, and why were you able to pull that off so successfully? Yeah, we've been working on that one for weeks. It has been probably about the whole season. Um, we saw with UCF, they bring a lot of pressure on the edge. Um, and a good way to keep teams honest with edge pressure is to run a fake that way. So we got the look we wanted. They're bringing it off the edge. Um, that little throw, I don't know if you saw the throw, Sam. Between the legs! <laughs> yeah, they were firm. It had to be between the legs. And at first, he was not good at it. The first week we ran it, and then he got better, and we put in the time, and it was there, and we got it. So we'll take it. It was essentially the double snap special, <laughs> but he throws a dime there. You yeah. catch it. What are you thinking when you catch the ball and take a look up at what the defense is doing? Yeah, so I can run or throw there. So I look for the first down marker. I, you don't think when you look for the first down marker, like it seems pretty easy. There's a line on the field. My first thought was I got to make sure it's not the line of scrimmage that I was running for right there. But I double checked and we got it. So I just crossed, crossed the line, did just enough, got off the field. So the throw, they, at first Ethan was open for the throw, but they had a lot of guys retreating towards him. So I just kept it and got, got what we had to get for the first down. So it worked, it worked. Well, understandably brought a lift to your, your team and the, that sideline on, on BYU side. So when you, what is it that's working so well for special teams overall? Because Coach Kelly Papinga seems to have dialed it in for eight consecutive games. Yeah, there's, there's a lot of, of pride in this group over special teams. Um, you can have good specialists, and that'll get you so far. Um, but you really need the offense and the defense and everyone in between to buy in. Um, sometimes you find teams where the offense or the defense doesn't want to buy in, and it's just kind of their time to go off the field, or the starters don't want to be involved. But with us, everyone wants to be in on special teams. Um, Coach Papinga made this little special teams hype video before the season started. And it was kind of funny, but everyone took it and bought in. And it's, it's been cool to see just everyone embracing and investing into what we're doing on special teams. So that's what it takes to actually get things to work on the field. Kicker is such an interesting position because you just expect it to go out there and be automatic all the time. And so it's naturally kind of underappreciated. Not saying BYU fans underappreciate you, but like in general, kickers are a little misunderstood and undervalued. So how do you handle the nerves of going out and consistently doing your job and making kicks? Yeah, there's definitely a mental side that you have to address as a kicker. Um, BYU, we have really good mental performance coaches uh, that have I've kind of just tried to pick their mind on everything I can, and it turns into a whole off season of prep. Um, so that hopefully I can come out here and hit a field goal when I need to hit a field goal. And then I think the hardest part too is you hit a kick and then you have to go off the sideline and forget that kick. Or you run a fake and then a couple plays later you could be kicking a field goal. Um, and just getting past the lows and getting past the highs just so we're ready to execute next time that we are called upon. So. What does it mean for you and this BYU team to be 8-0 going into the second bye week, still unbeaten atop the Big 12 Conference? It's huge. Um, there's a lot of confidence in our building. Um, and the idea of, of we're starting to see what we can accomplish. And we've also gotten really good at just taking it week by week. Um, and right now that is the bye week, resting, getting our bodies back, and then recharging, reloading for the next game. Um, so that's... I think the coaches have pushed that really hard. The strength coaches have pushed that really hard. And then now the leaders of the team are pushing it as well. Um, so we're kind of the same idea with going out and making a field goal. It's you, you do your job, you get off, and you get ready to go on the next one. So. Well, once again, BYU is the underdog. Wins on the road and silence some doubters for sure. But let's finish with just the reception that you got from BYU fans here today at FBC Mortgage Stadium because – can't help but feel like it was a little overwhelming in a positive way for BYU. For sure. It's amazing. Everywhere we go, East Coast, anywhere, there's thousands of BYU fans here. Um, it's, it's cool. We feel the support. Um, we get the BYU chants going. We run down kickoffs and we start hyping up the crowd because we have a crowd everywhere we go. So it's huge. We love them. We are thankful for their, their support no matter where we are. Hey, great job. Congratulations again uh, on, on another just impressive BYU win. Can we just call you Fleetfoot Farron now? Oh, whatever you want to call me. <laughs> it's fine with me. <laughs>
He was moving. He was moving, guys. Back to you. Nice job, 